We decided that because of the pandemic, people needed a reason to smile even more so than ever. So we incorporated masks into our costumes, brought out our decorations and created the Haunted Mansion look from the year before, but with some really fun hologram additions. When I created the giant DIY spider and awesome webs video last year, I didn't anticipate making it into a video, so I apologize for all the stills in that one. But after all of our decorations came together, we got asked about our spider often and how we did it, so I decided to create a video from the photos that I had taken as a record. I have added that link below because it's very informative and if you're looking for a guide to make a huge creepy spider in webs, unlike any that you've seen, then it's an awesome one to watch. Although we didn't make more spiders or webs, we were able to reuse the ones we had made before. In this video, I'm going to go more into detail about how to hang the webs and how we were able to take apart the giant spider and reuse it. Of course, you'll also learn about how we set up the holograms, which were a huge hit, and lay lowing fog for an extra creepy effect. As a reminder, the webs are made of beef netting. Yep, that's right, beef netting. And there are two different types of beef netting, and you'll want to choose the polyester sort, and you'll have to order it through Trenton Mills online. The link is below in the description section, and we did a 10 pound roll, which was enough to decorate our entire two-story house. We couldn't find an extension rod long enough and with a hook on the end, so we ended up just making our own out of wire and tape. For most of the anchors of the webs, we were able to just use Christmas light hooks on the rain gutters. Some of the windows were too clean, we felt though, so we added some webs to them using 3M hooks. For the really high parts, we found that it was much easier to use zip ties to loop them around on a nail versus just trying to connect the fabric to the hole. For the bottom part, we just bent wire that we got from the hardware store and stuck it in between the cement cracks. Of course, in the grassy areas, it can just be pushed into place. I personally think the webs look even better this year than before, being more ragged and worn from the weather. The spider legs were easily reconnected by spraying a little bit of cooking spray in them and then lining up the holes. Secure them with zip ties. The bucket underneath was just to hold the body while we connected the legs. Depending upon the length of the legs that you use to create your spider, you may need an extra little support post underneath, but this is also easily hidden with webs. The talking pumpkins were so fun and the kids and parents alike came from all over the area to see them. Not knowing they were projections, people were completely stumped when seeing them during the day that they were just average pumpkin patch pumpkins. The projector is a simple and basic unit that we had for our home theater system. We simply downloaded the program for Atmos Effects onto a thumb drive and plugged it into the projector. For awesome sound, we ran a wire from the projector to our son's guitar amp. No, I don't recommend leaving these outside for security reasons, but we were also confident that between our security cameras and bringing it in every night that it was fine and thankfully it was. You could easily build a secured box though if you wanted a safe and semi-permanent housing area for your equipment. We just hid it behind a sign and set it in the same spot each night. We also added a couple of fog machines that we got from the Halloween store. We were inspired by a blog that talked about putting a frozen bottle of water in the ends to keep the fog low. And I can't find a link to it otherwise I'd put it in the description. But it worked really well. We covered the ends of the irrigation tube with cling wrap so that it would come out through the holes instead of the large opening at the end. We used the same battery operated remote controlled candle set that is water resistant from the year before. We taped fishing line to them and hung them from Christmas light hooks on the rain gutter and 3M hooks on the inside. The floating aspect of it adds such a fun creepiness that we just loved. We originally tried putting the pumpkin projections in the upper window along with sound through a radio transmitter, but it wasn't as effective as outside on the pumpkins themselves. From the poll that we asked on the prior video, people loved the purple lighting better, so we went with that again. They are just simple LEDs that we ordered from Amazon and already had on hand for this year. With big decorations come big treat expectations, 
We gave out full-size candy bars to the first 100 kids and then spider-themed bags that had both tricks and treats in them. Still, I'd love to hear your thoughts for new treat and decoration ideas. All of the decorations certainly drew attention. Even the local news did an article about it. We just loved seeing the excitement on the kids' faces and the awe of the parents, wondering how we pulled it off. For those of you wondering about cleanup, it was super simple and came down in a couple of hours on a Saturday afternoon. As always, please like and subscribe for future how-to videos and happy decorating from the Lavender Lemon.